guess who is back on YouTube after a month? I am so sorry. Sincerely, my apologies. पहले कुछ दिनों के लिए काफ़ी दिनों के लिए एक्चुअली ऑलमोस्ट मोर देन ट्वेल्व डेज के लिए मेरी तबीयत बहुत ज़्यादा ख़राब थी uh, अगर आप लोग मुझे इंस्टा पे फॉलो करते होगे तो आपको पता होगा कि, कि क्या हुआ था क्या नहीं आई एम नॉट गन रिपीट माई सेल्फ उसके बाद इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू गेट स्टार्ट स्टार्टड क्योंकि इतने दिनों का ब्रेक हो गया मुझे बिल्कुल समझ में नहीं आ रहा था बिकॉज वॉन्स यू टेक अ ब्रेक इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू बिगिन अगेन आई हैड नो कॉन्टेंट आइडियाज़ इन माइंड आई वॉज सो आउट ऑफ आइडियाज़ मैं कभी कभी तो ऐसा भी हुआ है कि वीडियो शूट करने बैठी हूँ वीडियो शूट भी कर लिया लेकिन वहाँ पे कुछ टेक्निकल ग्लिच हो गया बिकॉज इतने दिनों का ब्रेक हो गया है ना सो एनी वे लेट्स नॉट गेट इट टू दैट आई एम बैक एंड आई एम बैक फॉर द गुड एंड आई एल कंटिन्यू क्रिएटिंग कॉन्टेंट मोर रेगुलरली नाउ दैट्स अ प्रॉमिस ऑल राइट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टूडेंट लोन सिंस आई नो दैट एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ माई ऑडियंस इज एक्चुअली फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी सो आई एम श्योर दिस इज गोइंग टू हेल्प अ लॉट ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट लोन इज अ लिटिल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम पर्सनल लोन्स दीज आर स्पेशली डिजाइन टू केटर टू द नीड्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ओनली टू पे ऑफ योर फीस योर ट्यूशन फीस योर एग्जामिनेशन फीस योर लिविंग एक्सपेंसिस एंड एवरीथिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इट इन डिटेल इन द वीडियो बट बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू समथिंग दैट दिस वीडियो हैज बीन मेड इन पार्टनरशिप विद team of top rankers they have sponsored this video very kindly so uh, in case you want to check top rankers website by the way let me tell you a little bit about their platform and this is an educational platform if you're somebody like me who is not interested in medicine or engineering this is something for you because they guide you uh, for a lot of examinations architecture examinations uh, integrated mba examinations integrated law examinations and a lot more they have their sub brands named creative edge super grads and legal edge and they also have judiciary gold but that is basically for uh, people who are preparing for judiciary uh, make sure you check out their website you check out their courses all the relevant links have been mentioned in the description below pay their website a visit and in case you decide on purchasing any package anything at all use my code this is my code and you will be getting a 10% discount so yeah make sure you go ahead check it and if it helps you let me know okay let's get into the video right now now coming back to student loan i'm sure you all of you like majority of you must have heard about this term student loan which is specifically designed to cater to your post secondary education by availing this loan you can obviously pay your tuition fees your uh, whatever else is associated hostel fees library uh, fees uh, getting your textbooks or uniform anything at all for your uh, respective university by availing the student loan uh, okay let me first of all tell you what are the documents that you will need with you before you want to like while you apply for student loan all right because documents are very important i have actually maine mehnat ki hai iske liye maine likha hai pura some two three pages i have written because i did not want to miss out on anything and uh, there's a disclaimer that i want to give you from the very beginning of this video and that is I am not a finance advisor or I'm, I I don't even belong to the commerce field I'm a law student why am I making this video I'm just making this to help you because I know a lot of students are there on my channel and if I if I create something like this there's a good possibility that a lot of you are going to benefit out of it so my intent is only to help you okay so I, I'm just making it very clear anyway let's get to the documents you will need your kyc documents you will need your bank statements your pa passbook your pan card your th there is something called a guarantor form which is actually optional i'm sure when you apply for the loan they are going to direct you with it then you need a copy of admission letter of the institute whichever institute you have decided to study from you must have received an offer letter right admission letter you have to you need to have that with you and um, then you need to have your 10th and 12th k mark sheets and passing certificates that's all now uh, banks may insist a minimum 60% marks in your 12th for you to avail this uh, student loan because they want to they, they keep a track of your achievements of your marks and everything because they want to ensure ki jis bande pe wo apna paisa laga rahe hain wo actually worth it hai ki nahi 
all right so they will want to track your performance and they will want to see how good you are with your studies and do you really deserve to be given this amount okay now there's one more thing i would like to say whenever you apply for a uh, for a loan uh, make sure you read the papers very thoroughly very carefully okay there must there must be some kind of uh, hidden charges some emi some pre prepayment procedures or something like that okay make sure you read um, the documents very carefully if you have somebody in your family who who deals with these things who is probably a bank employee or who knows who has a little idea about loans and stuff who deals with these things make sure you take their help you take their advice don't do these things by your own if um, in case your parents also don't know a lot about these things okay whenever you are indulging in paperwork make sure you read everything each and every line because once you have signed the paper the damage has already been done there is no coming back from there okay i don't want that to happen to you be very very careful you need to be very particular about this then the amount of loan is actually i read somewhere that for india it is 15 lakhs if you want to study somewhere in india you can get a loan of 15 lakhs and if you're going abroad then it can range up to 25 to 30 lakhs but uh let me tell you i'm not very sure about it okay because different websites were giving me different uh, information regarding the amount of the loan so if any of you know please correct me in the comment sections and i will pin it anyway so uh, at the institute that you have chosen to study is also going to affect the loan amount in your case okay because the banks would want want to ensure that you land up in a good job so that you will be able to repay the loan all right so your institute will differ for example let's say you want to do engineering from uh, what bits pilani or something i have i have heard it's great and it gives really good placement i don't know i don't know anything about engineering so if you're studying there they might give you a uh, good amount of loan Lo the loan amount is going to vary so so that they'll be sure that you will land up in a good job and you will be able to repay the amount that is basically it anybody any student who wants to any person who wants to study can avail student loan because according to rbi guidelines revenue bank of india has made it a priority for banks they have made student loan a priority so that it caters to your educational needs any course graduation courses diploma courses post graduation courses vocational courses any kind of course that you want to do after your higher secondary you can avail student loan for it so that is a very good part the good thing is it lets you complete your education there are a lot of times where due to financial crisis some family problems something people uh, they are unable to pay the fees and hence their education is affected so this is not going to happen with you in case you're availing a student loan okay and whenever you're choosing a loan make sure it includes everything everything as in your tuition fees your hostel fees your examination fees uh fees for buying your textbooks your uniform and your travel expenses in case you are intending on studying abroad okay everything is included make sure compare different loan options okay compare different options and choose the one that is best suited for your requirements that covers everything for you all right i would also like to tell you something very frankly here this is just my personal opinion um and i have heard it from a lot of people as well uh in my little knowledge a loan is always a burden at the end of the day it's a debt okay so whenever you are thinking of applying for a loan make sure you are ready to take up the responsibility to take up this burden on yourself because at the end of the day it is a burden okay and you only will have to repay it in the future okay so make sure you are ready for it you are willing to take it up okay because a loan is always a burden it is always a burden loans emis these things are always burdens so make sure you're well aware of what it is they are not going they are not lend, lending you money for free no it's a debt it's a loan all right you will have to repay it in the future but i feel it also brings in a little bit of seriousness in you because aapko fir pata lagta hai ki aakhir mein aap hi ko chukana hai ye amount so maybe you get a little more serious and you work really hard to land up in good jobs or something like that maybe that that might be the case uh, like a lot of people say but i don't know since i have not really taken up a student loan maybe i will in the future but i don't know now as of now that's not the case 
now there might be a little doubt in your head that when can you actually repay the amount so the tenure um, i think it differs a little it differs from bank to bank but it is usually after 5 to 7 years of completion of the course for example i am doing integrated law which is a 5 years integrated course and i have taken student loan for it i haven't but let's say i have taken so after 5 years my course will get completed and from the date when i complete my course from that very date till 5 to 7 years whatever is the tenure i will have time to repay the loan after that okay so you don't have to pay it immediately it's only after you start working you start earning you have to repay the loan i think that is pretty much all uh, there are a couple of more things that i wanted to talk about see again and again i'm telling you whenever you have compared different loan options and everything and you have finally chosen a bank please please read all the terms and conditions you read make your parents read make them understand whatever the terms and conditions are because there might be some hidden cost something you never know you need to be very careful about that and something that i want to advise you on a very strong note is note here is please don't listen to my advice <laughs> because i don't deal into these things i i i mean i'm, I'm seriously when it being from a hum, humble middle class family i know the value of money and when it's about money i need you to be very careful about it okay i don't want to harm you in any way i'm just creating this video to help you but i don't intend on spreading any misinformation that is why i'm not even going to the technicalities i'm just speaking about whatever little i have known and i have confirmed from various sources okay and if you find any mistake in whatever i have said in this video please correct me kindly correct me in the comment sections and i will make amends okay maybe i'll create another video to clarify all those things or i'll pin your comment or i'll do anything to bring it to the notice of the people that this is not right what i have said in the video i will do it i don't want you to face any trouble because of me okay now the other thing is um, yeah uh, I, i think i have said it already make sure you choose that kind of uh, loan which covers everything your hostel examination your uniform your every all kind of fees it uh, um, covers for you because at the end of the day uh, i think a lot of you must not be knowing this but let me tell you the loan amount it's not going to come to you aapke pocket mein nahi aayega it is directly going to go to your university because you will be giving your university details to them what is your fee structure what are your tuition fees what is your hostel fees you must have received your uh, admission letter mein to wo sari cheeze likhi hoti hai you going to hand over that document to the bank the bank is going to send the amount to your university it is not going to come to you okay so it is directly going to go to your university so that is how it is going to be you should ideally choose a bank which allows a little extension in the payment period in the tenure of your payment uh, so that in case some kind of unforeseen delay happens or something something goes wrong you can have some time with you to repay the loan and people from um, economically weaker sections i would advise please go for government banks because they have lower rate interests and longer time period so that would be good for you i think that's all i have pretty much covered uh, all that i had uh, learned in the process and uh, and all that i wanted to inform you about if you have any doubts if you want to make any corrections please put it in the comment sections and um, let me know if this video was helpful if it was then give it a like share this with your friends if you know somebody who uh, wants to take up a student loan but is not very sure as in the what is the procedure and everything this might just give them a little idea of course i'm not saying this is going to explain everything uh, because i have not really spoken about the technicalities what is the process what is all of that because i don't know you will get to know when you approach the bank this is just to give you a little idea to as in what is student loan and how can you avail it and what are the benefits and all of it okay so i hope it helps uh, if not all of you then some of you and if it does please subscribe to my channel because in the future i'll be creating much more content which is going to help the student community in a lot of ways because as i always say i am one of you all and i know the problems uh, that we all face and the things that we all are interested in so that's all for today and it feels so great to be back after so long and uh, yeah thank you so much take care bye oh happy valentine's day advance by the way i'm wearing red see